Back for more Breaking Bad Season 3, Episode 7. Uh, last episode, it was good to get back into the whole thing. But we've seen the RV get destroyed. We've seen Hank go on a wild goose chase, try to get the RV. Um, he's got the two dudes on his back now. They gunning for him. He just doesn't know it yet. Walt and Skylar, the whole divorce thing. We're going to get that more details about that. And Jesse, Skinny Pete, Badger, they're trying to go into their own little business and start their whole so so we got we seen a lot of stuff we just got we got to keep going so we we're gonna keep it short last but not least if you like what you see hit the like button it means a lot we appreciate that a lot over here uh hit the subscribe button comment leave a comment down below let me know what you thought and uh yeah without further ado we have breaking bad <laughs> we have breaking beasy <laughs> yeah episode seven see what we got bro what is this Oh, I thought that was a real body. No, <laughs> Are these the two dudes when they were young? It's a flashback. No, 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 me gusta. Oh, is that what's his name? The, the, the bell ringing dude. Yeah. So this is a flashback. Uh oh. Solo se estaba divirtiendo. Lo superarás. No, lo odio, lo deseo muerto. Is he the one who instilled these uh murderous ways into them? <whistles> Look, back then before he couldn't talk, he could whistle and not ring a bell. Dale una cerveza a tu viejo tío, quieres? Oh no! Come on, bro, you can't do that. Bro! Okay. He was literally about to kill his kill his brother. La familia es todo. Okay. Now, I do believe that family is all at the end of the day. Your family should be all that you have, but it, you shouldn't learn it that way. <laughs> you should not learn it that way. And then it cross fades into them now. And here they are side by side. So I guess the lesson was learned. And now they go after Hank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Breaking bad. Breaking bad. Breaking bad. <laughs> it just feels so good to watch this show again, man. It's so good to be back. Look at my man in the motherfucking pants. Look at the pants. Look at him. We back for real. Uh oh. He's not going to give up. Not at all. <laughs> Talk to my lawyer, all right? And you hear me? I got nothing to say. I told you, you can call my- Yep. He mad about the whole wife thing, right? Uh, you have my cell phone number? You have my wife's name? How'd you do it? Ooh. Talk! Who you want to with? This is a dream, right? It's no way. Cause he can't do this. There's no way this is real, right? This is like a, a, a fantasy, a reverie. Or did he really just come in here and beat my man's ass? It's not cutting to a to another scene, so I'm taking it. This is real. Oh my God. Right. Hank is gonna be in a lot of trouble for this. He gonna lose his job? Cause I'm pretty sure the people at his work know he has a hard on for for Jesse and trying to solve this case. So like, this is not gonna look good for him. If you are uh, ready to talk, they want to get a statement. Your side of what happened here, or we can hold them off till another time. Maybe you want to talk to a lawyer. He's going to need it. Yo, Adrian. Rocky called. He wants his face back. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. He he whooped his ass. <laughs> DEA's worst nightmare is that face out in public. Are right, they going to have to stare a wide berth of young Master Pinkman? Yeah, that is true. Good, right? Right. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to get his face beaten and swelled all up, though, so... To some degree, no, it's not all good. 
It is a bit of a blessing in disguise. You got to give them the uh, the Craig and Day Day. Not Craig and Day Day, but Craig and Smokey. Damn! <laughs> Jesse, I, I am so sorry for this. The plan did work. We would have been locked up right now if we didn't lure him. I was about to say, his plan did work. It got Hank away from the, from the RV, so. I never saw this coming. What happens now? What happens now? Your scumbag brother-in-law is finished. I will own him. Look at his eye. Any place he goes, I'm going to be there. He'll be scrubbing toilets in Tijuana. I will haunt his crusty ass. <laughs> That's what happens next. The more, the, the closer they zoomed in, the more intense it got. Now, obviously, he beat, his, he beat his face in. But is he going to be able to really do all of that based off of that? They're scared of you right now. They, they want nothing to do with you. But if you hit them. They're forced to hit back hard, turn over every rock, hither, thither, and yon, until someone spills the beans on you. Hither. That's a hell of a word, bro. If you if you know somebody that's using the word thither, them niggas is way smarter than you. I can I can go ahead and tell you that right now. <laughs> Their vocabulary is on 10. I get myself a new RV and go start cooking again. Ooh. Do you think you're going to get away with that? How hard is his head? God damn. If the cops catch me, I give them what they want the most. Which is? You. Mmm. Damn. He gonna snitch on him? You're my free pass. All right, now this is interesting. He wouldn't really do that, would he? Sure. Look, if he didn't give up my name while Hank was beating him senseless, he's never going to talk. One thing we know about, one thing, I love Jesse, but one thing I know about him is he can bluff. And he can be really scared on the inside but he can mask it. He'll come around. He better. <laughs> After arriving at the hospital, I learned the emergency call was a hoax. So what happened next? I immediately went back to the salvage yard, but the RV was gone. And it was at this point that you drove to the home of Jesse Pinkman? I think we're done here. Agent Schrader needs to get home, get some rest. You're taking the fifth here? Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Mr. Pinkman is pressing charges in this matter. He's given a detailed version of events. The word of a method. Toxicology on Pinkman. His blood is clean. He's not using. Yeah. He is even refusing his doctor ordered pain meds, as far as we can tell. Ever since the whole Jane thing, he's been off. That is one that is one thing he's he's stayed true to. Where do we go from here? A photo of Agent Schrader's hands. Damn. I just thought that was a that was a dream or just like a imagination when that was happening like he really beat this dude face in like that that was crazy so is he gonna be suspended indefinitely or or what look at him he's usually walking through this area laughing and cracking jokes and being the loudest one in the room but now shame it's embarrassment mortification ladies and gentlemen these are the words that we are using now but I have a feeling Hank is going to, he's going to rise and he's going to be on top again. He's going to find some kind of, some kind of stroke of luck. So now we got a homegirl scholar. Let's see what, look, let's see what kind of reindeer game she's getting into. I guess crime does pay. You got damn right it does. <laughs> You got that right about that. Whatever Hank was investigating, that could lead back to you. No. Come on. Look, the looks and stares are back. I thought maybe um, there's a way you could help him. How? Nigga, for what? Contact Pinkman. Get him to drop the charges. Hank is your family. I said not currently. Because they, they separated or they're in the process. So once they're done... Legally, he's not, they're not family. And I don't think he's going to get Jesse to drop the charges because if they can for sure, for sure, get Hank out of the picture with this, that just makes them being, you know, safe, even more of a guarantee. So I don't think he will, but we'll see, you know, this show takes me for a loop every single time. So I could be wrong. I'm starting to get worried. Everything is on track. Let's get to work. Get our trays ready. Clean, no moisture. Done. Damn. Okay. It's our uh, 
Our solvent filtered. I thought you might ask that. Done. Okay. This might be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> My nigga looking like, uh, nah. I mean, the first day they got, they seemed to get along pretty well, but I guess Walt is just not in the mood for that today, but we'll see. Oh, what are they about to get into? Lucky you boys caught me. I got a load to pick up. I'm taking a 40 straight through to Memphis. Are they about to kill this dude? Women who like to get peed on always tend to be from the warmer climates. You think the ones in the colder zones would be more inclined, but I haven't met one yet. Maybe it's a shock to the system. Okay. <laughs> That's information I did not know. I didn't know about that. And I could have lived the rest of my life without knowing it. Well, take a gander. Prices are negotiable. Buying in bulk gets you a discount. I'm running a special on these little honeys. JHPs. Hollow point bullets known by the natives as Black Death. Check it out. Uh, you like that? So sweet you want to lick it. Nickel plated brass casing, level ox coat for panache. Sucker has six razor claws that expand upon impact. <laughs> Shred your mama's head like a cabbage. For what it is you want, what it is you need, what can I do you for? Vest. Vests, comfortable, thermally bonded, non-interwoven Kevlar fiber. Stop a bullet like a soft wing against a Quaker girl. Just ain't getting through. Hey, this dude. They work. Sure as shit they do. <laughs> I thought he was about to shoot him in the head and just take everything, but. Broke my freaking rib, you maniac, son of a bitch. <sighs> but it worked. Damn. Look, they just had to, they had to test it out and see. They weren't sure. <laughs> I thought they was going to kill him and take everything. Gail. What Gale. temperature did you set here? Station 575C. I said 85. It's always been 85. This is chemistry. Degrees matter. What's gotten into him today? Very sorry. Great. You're sorry. Meanwhile, you've just brewed 50 gallons of useless sludge. Congratulations. We still have to remember he has cancer through all of this. No, he's in remission and his tumors went down and stuff, but like he's still not, not free of that. You know, that's something I always try to keep in mind. You look nice. He, he swung at you with something. I asked, he resisted arrest and muscle memory kicked in and you had to disarm him. Oh, uh, muscle memory kicked in. They're going to love to hear that one. I'm not going to go in there and lie. It's, uh, it's, look, he, he's done, bro. He's cooked. He's cooked. <laughs> it wasn't one mistake. I've been unraveling, you know. Look, talk about it, man. Talk about it. I don't sleep at night anymore. <laughs> I freeze. Like I need a moment. <laughs> My chest gets all tight. I, I, I can't breathe. Yeah, but we have been seeing this throughout that the last few episodes. He's been he's obviously been going through it in the shower, in the elevator, in his car. To go Salamanca if ever a scumbag deserved a bullet between the eyes. It changed me. I can't seem to control it. Tough, man. I mean, that was traumatizing, regardless. What I did to Pinkman, that's not who I'm supposed to be. That's not me. I swear to God, Marie, I think the universe is trying to tell me something. Ready to listen. And that is? I'm just not the man I thought I was. Now, I will say, if he can spin this story just like this to them with the with the teary eyes and the in the pauses in between they might have some sympathy they just might i'm not saying it's a sure thing but they might might buy it they probably won't <laughs> gail situation he's he's just not working out first best option is jesse pinkman oh wow so he's trying to get gail out to bring jesse in to work with him when I accepted your offer, I was told the lab is mine and I know best how to run it. Thank you. Yes, I will. I will. Did he fake blow up on Gail that day to kind of get rid of him so he could bring in Jesse to clear 
himself of Jesse snitching on him. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. Why don't you just go get yourself a monkey? I don't want a monkey. I want you. Uh, oh, shucks. <laughs> we'll be partners again. Split everything 50-50, just like before. $1.5 million. No. You understand this? Let's look, let's run it back. <laughs> I am not turning down the money. I am turning down you. Look at his eye, dog. I want nothing to do with you. Everything I have ever cared about is gone. And screw you, man. Screw you. Your math is good, Jesse. As good as mine. Is that Cap? Is he just saying this? Look, Walter's such a big, uh, he's so much of a damn liar, you can never tell. Is he trying to cover his ass or or not? Because throughout the show, I've always felt like there is a bit of a, to a certain degree, a father-son thing there. Or just like Walter has love for this dude genuinely to some degree. They wouldn't have made it this far and done all of this stuff if there wasn't, you know, something there. But we also know, like I said, this dude's a liar and he will say and do anything to cover his ass and, and to come out on top. So kind of like the boy who cried wolf it's, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe you. That's kind of just when you say the offer is still on the table and just leave. Let him sit with it a little bit and then they'll come back around. Yeah. 50-50. Yes, 50-50. That didn't take long. <laughs> run it back. Are we going back to season one again? Let's get it. The boys is back. And this is the statement you want to give. So we understand if we write it up like that, you'll sign it. It's the way it happened. It's looking like he, he willing to go by this. As of this moment, you're suspended without pay. I have to ask you to hand over your badge and your gun. Well, he's, I guess he's just kind of realized he's unraveling, like he said, and, and karma, bad energy is kind of coming back around and he just got to accept the consequences and get it off his conscience. I just wanted to tell you something. Pinkman is impressing charges. Not gonna press charges, so. Because he's not gonna go in there and cry this time, is he? I'll tell you all about it when I get home, okay? I think we may be okay. Like he didn't got our flowers and everything. Oh, watch them two dudes gonna come after, ain't they? Shredder. I need you to listen very carefully. Two men are coming to kill you. Yep. They're approaching your car. You have one minute. You look, you you better go. Pull out. Bro, taking too long, man. Just go. Look, I'm, I'm trying to tell him you ain't got no gun. He just he won't listen. Now nah, he's he's panicking right now. He's he's going through a, a fit. And who was that that was trying to warn him that, that people are coming to kill him? I just don't see why this man is not pulling away. Why is he not pulling out and leaving? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Damn. I don't know which one is which, but is that the same as when they were kids from the beginning? But the Hank's stupid ass should have left when he had the chance. Even when he seen them walking up, you still could have pulled away and at least not have gotten shot. I mean, come on, bro. Ooh. <laughs> so where is Hank? Boom. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh yeah, he got the vest on. I'm like, why is he not dying? I forgot. <gasps> Somebody about to come and shoot him. No. What? Well, no, but this is what happens. Too easy. When you start playing around, you play with your food, and you don't you don't finish the deal. Watch what happens. He could have just shot him right there, dead. Now you trying to go get axes. Watch what happens. 
Watch what happened. Idiot, bro. You are an idiot. Somebody about to come and get him. Who is it? <laughs> Nigga. Oh my God. The back of his head. <laughs> okay. All right. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that was episode seven. Yeah, we we got a lot in that. Um, we learned that Hank suspended indefinitely without pay, sent in the statement. He just kind of accepted his reality. You know, he said he was unraveling the whole Tuco situation, and then the thing that happened down in in Mexico. All of that stuff it affected him, and he was just not right, and he was willing to accept this whole truth. You know, and face the consequences. And my man gets out, learns that Jesse's probably not gonna press charges, and then goes out to get flowers for Marie. I can tell because they was purple. Then he gets his phone call. Two dudes is coming to kill you. Leave. Instead of leaving, he just stays. Now I get it. He's panicking and he's going through his his PTSD phase. But bro, you have to leave, bro. You have to leave. Turns out to be the two dudes. And then we just seen what happened, you know? The dumb dude is saying, oh, this is too easy. I'm not gonna kill you like this. Buys Hank time and we just seen he's gone. Now we didn't see the other one die officially. So that one, the other dude might still be alive, but the other one is dead. And that's what happens when you mess around. Like I said, when you play with your food, that's what happens. That's what happens. So. Hank is Lord knows he didn't got shot multiple times. We'll see how he turns out. Um, in other news, Jesse and Walt, they back cooking in the lab. So I guess we'll be, we'll be seeing them. We'll be seeing them. And also my man, Walt said Jesse stuff wasn't so bad after all, you know, it was just as good as his. So I guess we'll find out if that's the truth or not, but, um, yeah, good episode, man. Good episode. The ending there was just crazy. Um, not saying don't be out here killing nobody, but, Finish your food, bro. Just finish the job. When it's there, the finish line is right there. Cross it. I'm saying don't try and take steps back and try and moonwalk across and now you done broke your ankle. Finish the job. I didn't want Hank to get killed, but I'm just saying. You see what happens when you mess around. Yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, we clap it up for you. MVPs of the league. 30 points, 80 points, MVPs, home runs, and hat tricks out the ass. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And for Breaking Bad, that's all that I got. Yeah.